Welcome back. Now we're going to demonstrate fabricating a flat 90 degree bend in 100mm light gauge tray as I've got before me here. First of all we start by getting it nice and secure in the bender, in the vise rather. You all realise that. And then we measure the midpoint of the bend. Mark it. Use our engineer square. Draw a line in pencil on the midpoint of the bend. And now we're going to draw two further lines outside of this bend and they're going to be 70 mil either side of the bend. Now there is a formula if the tray is slightly bigger to work out the spacings we need. But for the purpose of bending a 100 mil tray, it's 70 mil either side of the midpoint of the bend. So measure that, mark it, mark it, and once again with an engineer square, So now, we should have three lines on the back of our uh, tray. Two outside and one in the middle. The two outside bends, outside lines rather, we're going to cut down all the way from one lip down to the other lip, but leaving it on. I will demonstrate what I mean by this when we get a bit closer. So first things first, we're going to cut using our hacksaw. Cut on the line as well. Try and make sure the tray is nice and secure because it will make, make our cutting easier and straighter. Right, so we get when the hacks are in, try and keep it relatively uh, slow angle and nice and slowly, allowing the hacks here to do the work. And once we've cut our first line, it should look something like that. And then we're to repeat the process down the other outside line. And when we've cut our second line, it should look something like that. Next thing we need to do before we go much further is remove the burrs. Open it up slightly, not a lot, because the more we move this tray backwards and forwards, the weaker we're making our joints. So just one, move it as little as possible. And then run our file. Along the side, ensuring that any burrs are removed. Right now, pink process. Obviously we do have to open it up quite a bit in this instance, or it's not gonna, we're not gonna remove all the burrs properly. onto its back. And when we're happy that we've deburred it, I put, not everybody's choice because you might end up cutting yourself, but I like to run my finger down it. And if it's nice and smooth, then we've done enough. And repeat the process for the second cut. Once we've uh, deburred our edges, nice and smooth, the next stage is uh, beginning to form a flat 90 degree bend. So what we do is we bring one of our outside lengths and bring it in until it meets the uh, line we made in the middle, our midpoint of the bend. And then we do this, repeat the process with the other side. And when we've got it there, we need to take off some of the lip of our tray. So what we do is we mark it where we're removing it from. Cut the two outside pieces until they meet the midpoint of your bend as demonstrated here. And once you've done that, mark the point at which the two lips meet each other on the tray as I have demonstrated there with the black lines. And the next stage is removing these four pieces of lip so we can put the tray together and form our flat 90. We're going to do this using our file. 
and using a bit of uh, the old hand action. Now this is not something you can over file because what we're looking for is to bend it backwards and forwards using a pair of pliers and the more we file it the cleaner the cut and the easier it becomes. Right, so once we've done that we grab our pliers, bring it backwards forwards till it's removed, putting our spare in the bin and once again file off any sharp edges we may have created until we can run our finger down it and it feels smooth. We are then going to repeat the process for this, this and this. finished removing all our edges our tray should look something like this. We also need to make sure we've filed it all so it's nice and smooth so we can run our finger down it and the next stage is bringing our two bits together or our, all our bits together to form our 90 degree bend so it looks something like that and we're going to fix this together using M6 roofers. The next stage is fixing our tray together and to ensure that our flat 90 is a 90 we put it against something that we know to be 90 degrees and mark if we need to put any holes in it and in my instance I do need to drill some holes in it. If you can see where I put my black uh, felt tip, that's where I'll be drilling it for my fixings. Once we've fixed it together, it should look something like that. Now you may feel you need to secure it with more than two roofers and if you do that's fine. Obviously be sensible and I think you'll agree that's one sick right angle bend.